Hi everyone, it's Rita. I'm an Akashic uh, Records accessor channel. Uh, I've opened, you'll find on this site, I've opened up the Akashic Records of different master beings and crystals and things. Um, and uh, I have opened up the Akashic Records of a cryptocurrency known as Ethereum. Uh, I'm in the records of it right now and it's like uh, really high vibrating. Um, I'm here, I heard it's based on the people that were cre that created it are have big hearts and they wanted something that could really uh be expansive and they've created that with this uh cryptocurrency known as ethereum i just opened up the akashic records of bitcoin uh so that video will be on this site somewhere as well i think um i haven't posted anything yet so and it's uh, April of uh, 2022. Amazing. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well. And I'll try to do, I'll do some more channeling with some of the crystals I have here uh, and get those up as well. So let's ask about Ethereum. So I'm hearing Ethereum is, I was asking what the difference was between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm just hearing it's, it uh, has greater capabilities. And I know I don't really know a lot about the blockchain. I know that there's a lot of 90% of the projects that are being built in the blockchain are being built on Ethereum. So there's a lot of utility. There's a lot more utility to Ethereum than Bitcoin, which in a lot of ways makes it more uh, valuable. But there will be other, there will be other platforms that there are already other platforms out there that things are being built on, and there'll be more to come because we're at the very beginning. I'm here. I'm I'm kind of just talking to you from what I'm hearing. We're at the very beginning of um, it's like a transition about it around information. And it will touch everything in our lives. In mostly a very positive way. And there are like, there are people that are involved in uh, some of these things that are obviously very uh, open hearted and big hearted. And then there are uh, some people that aren't. Um, and it's all good. It's kind of uh, the good will always outweigh the bad. They want me to share. Okay, so like when I first saw the, my first documentary on cryptocurrency, and it was a few years ago, they were talking about giving utility or resources to people in third world communities who don't have access to the regular banking system. So they can't get loans. You know, they have to keep their money under a mattress or in a tin can buried in the yard, right? So, um, in that aspect, um, cryptocurrency will really help them, um, especially as it becomes more, uh, there's more of the stability. So there's not these high, you know, uh, these fluctuations. And that'll, that'll happen as there are more users come on board. Um, and that'll also drive the value of these things up because some of them are limited but not to focus there don't focus on any of the limitations just focus on the expansiveness of it um, the utilities that that'll be able to um, that it'll be used for because there's more coming with all that more than more than we can imagine I'm just, I'm, I'm a clear audience channel, so I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing is I've got the Akashic Records open of Ethereum. Um, and uh, the Akashic Records are a vibrational history. Mostly there's no uh, futuristic sort of things that come through, but um, I'm also, uh, it's uh, like, it, I'm opening the records, but I'm also uh, using my energies. And so... Um, I've been told that we are only about, I don't know, less than 
uh, 8% or so of what we see of ourselves, our physical body, uh, the rest of that is all energy around us and working through us. Um, and uh, we can access the power of that, which you'll hear in Law of Attraction videos and things. You'll, you'll hear things around uh, thoughts become things. Uh, Mike Dooley uh, has written some books on infinite possibilities. Uh, Dr. C. Allman has as well. And what you find uh, from all these beautiful teachers and sharers is that they're empowering you to understand uh, how powerful your feeling states are because our feelings are attached to our thoughts. So when we think something, we'll have a feeling about it. And that energy is what's engaging more of the energies around us. So trying to be more deliberate or intentional around connecting that way from a good vibrating, you know, a good space, feeling good about yourself, connecting in that way and asking is, um, and asking to, you know, thrive, to bring all of that beautiful energy uh, into your cells and things like that um, is really cool. And that's part of what you'll see in the documentary we've been working on with uh, energy fields. So, so I'm hearing like, so as far as cryptocurrencies and things like that, go into that same space and just ask and, and try to educate yourself because it is part of our current now and um, will be part of our future. So the more you can understand it, whether it's a government digital currency or whether it's a, kind of an independent or decentralized, uh, it's good to have an understanding of these different things. And I think you've seen what you've seen around the world is that it's really important to be uh, empowered um, to own your sovereignty. I actually had uh, a registered trademark done of the words sovereign being for kind of apparel because I really want you to be everyone to be reminded of how beautiful and sovereign we are um, and we're not degenerative, we're regenerative. Um, and you'll see that uh, at, when you look for it. So They're reminding me to tell you, like uh, Greg Braden, who's another wonderful teacher and sharer on the planet, has a video of a woman. There's a, um, a uh, uh, x-ray machine that's set up and she's got a tumor on her spleen that's like four centimeters. So you can really see it in this x-ray machine from the side. And there are these Chinese chi healers standing next to her. And as they start their practice, you see the tumor basically shrink and go away. And so they asked her and these chi masters what was happening in that space. And she said she was seeing herself in her perfection, owning her perfection. And these uh, chi masters, these energy masters were doing the same thing as they were chanting. So they weren't actually seeing the tumor shrink. They were just holding her in her wholeness and perfection, which I believe the master Jesus, that's what he was doing on the planet. So know that that power is around you and in you and working through you and as you own that the regenerative aspect of you is uh, will and is uh, uh, the potential infinite possibilities so let's get back to ethereum <laughs> yeah so ethereum is a, another disruptive technology but it's an incredible platform they didn't realize at the time when they built it how much it would be used. So that's created some growing pains as far as uh, how to how to allow access to it and to do things on it um, that have uh, that don't take as much resources, I guess, um, or fees and things. But that's changing. Um, the people that are leading that change and fixing all that stuff are authentic and powerful uh, people. And it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And you see that it's used as an exchange, just like Bitcoin, because of its utility, the uses of it. Um, and you'll see that as you explore these different things out there and look at these different white papers for these different coins, there's a lot of utility stuff coming forward. Um, and it's all over the board, um, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. 
So what else do we need to know about Ethereum? People have talked about it overtaking the value of Bitcoin and that it does have the potential to do that just because it is, um, it has so much utility to it. And there are other, there are other coins out there right now like it. And there'll be a lot more that come forward because we're just at the beginning of all this, right? So the adoption of it in some areas will happen faster uh, than the adoption in other areas. And that's all, that's all good. Um, be very present where you see the adoption first um, of these coins, um, because that will be a spotlight on um, control aspects of how those countries uh, manage their people or constituents. And, you know, always remember that those people that are your leaders, you put them there, however you put them there, with your energy or thoughts or feeling states um, and your decision process about how active you want to be um, uh, in uh, those roles. Um, you don't actually even have to get active as far as joining a board or whatever. It's really the, the space that you decide to take about what you want to see around you um, how you want to feel, what kind of governance you want to have. Really just focus on those sorts of things and they will begin to manifest in your experience. Um, uh, that's how powerful uh, we all are. Um, so I'm just trying to think of anything else like that would be, uh, be good to ask. Um, uh, let's see. What else do we need to know about Ethereum? The founder is amazing and his mother is actually, has started an amazing project as well. Um, and it gives, her project will give you the idea of how empowering these projects can be to women and children and uh, disenfranchised communities. So that's really cool, right? Um, what else? There is a sense of uh, sort of this idea around kind of control and greed and stuff, but it won't last. You know, really focus on uh, the positive aspects of uh, upliftment in these different communities. They want me to tell you about a project that's being done. They're trying to bring uh, a business to a Native American tribe of solar panels. So that's really cool. Uh, so there are these DAOs, uh, these uh, de decentralized autonomous organizations uh, that have the capacity to do all sorts of positive, loving, wonderful things for different communities. Uh, and the governance is like everyone has a say. Uh, so it's not a one leader, right, in these decentralized organizations. So I do know that that's one of the things to pay attention to is the difference between centralized and decentralized because you really do want the people that are part of everything making the governance, right? I think that's sometimes where we get squirrely about stuff. I used to have these, I used to uh, be in charge of the Interclub Council on my campus uh, or university that I attended. And on my office door, I had this, I had a couple bumper stickers. Um, these are stickers people would put on their cars, uh, but I had them on the glass window. And one of them was, um, you know, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. And I think you see that in a lot of these leaders, especially in the United States where people run for term limits. And then they, they never give up their seat of power, right? So uh, whether it's ego or money or I don't know, like all the different reasons. That's why I love these decentralized organizations because everyone has a say and you don't have anyone that, you know, suddenly has an ego sort of power trip and uh, decides to, 
they want to control, you know, uh, the, the organization of the people that uh, they were elected to represent, right? So... Yeah, and the cool thing about like Ethereum and even these other coins is that they're universal. They're all over. They're all over the world of the Earth, right? So um, anyone can participate, and so there is a uh, energy line of bringing people together from around the world um, uh, with this common sort of uh, currency or utility, and that's really powerful. So, and I've gone fifty over fifteen minutes. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to close this video and uh, appreciate uh, you watching it. Thank you so much. Um, please, if you like my videos, just like, subscribe, share them. Um, we'll be doing some updates on the film. Uh, my friend Shaizan, who's the, um, uh, who did uh, a lot of the, um, you know, directing, he and I are co-directors on the film. He is working on an amazing film, which I'll do a video share about uh, at some point. And then once he's finished with that, uh, we will um, we'll kind of resume some of our, maybe a little bit of filming. I've done some really cool interviews. Um, one with uh, Dr. Eben Alexander, who had a near-death experience. And he saw orbs and energies in his near-death experience. And my video is, my, my film is based on... Um, uh, empowering people by knowing more of what they are because you are energy you know just like when you touch the sheets at night and you see sparks fly or you touch somebody and you know that you shock quote shock them you know we're energy and so these are just that's just a couple small examples to remind yourself of how powerful you are uh, and that you have these energies around you and working through you um, these electromagnetic uh, fields and things that uh, are you. And so you're a powerful being. Um, you're not degenerative, you're regenerative. Um, so keep holding that space. Uh, blessings and love to you. And I look forward to uh, doing some more videos on crystals and things. And if there's things that you want me to open the Akashic Records of, uh, please let me know. Just put it in the uh, comment section. Again, so there's a subscribe button down there somewhere. You can Hit that. Uh, if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified of future videos. Blessings and love.